All right, guys. Well, welcome to another video that's probably brighter on the camera than it will be on YouTube. But so sorry about that. But it's getting kind of late. But I've been kind of picking away at this truck again. Uh, had some kind of sketchy weather, and I've kind of been feeling a little sketchy myself lately. But I think I'm mostly getting that whip now. But um, I was dealing with this distributor and I made a video I'm going to post up before this one you've probably already seen that if you watched it you've seen it if you didn't watch it you didn't see it but um, I kind of encountered some more issues of this distributor back here than I had realized was going on with it and that may have contributed to how poorly this engine was running uh, the first thing back there you'll notice that it has a nice shiny vacuum can on it and that's because the one that was on it was bad the diaphragm had ruptured in it and then under that rotor I didn't I decided not to make a video about it until I get around to replacing them but under that rotor button you have your centrifugal weights that fly out it's at higher RPMs and advance the distributor mechanically and they have little pivot bushings on them and the pivot bushings are just about gone on those things so it's gonna need those and they're kinda hard to find so I'll have to get that replaced and I'll do a video about that but Something else that was uh, kind of looked pretty sketchy to me also was, let's get over here in the light a little bit, is I was taking the distributor cap off and apart to change the coil under the new cap. I got a new cap for it, and this is the coil that sits in the cap, and I'll go get the old cap too. Kind of need one to explain this, one to explain the other, I guess you'd say. All right, over there. Like an octopus. But <clears throat> anyway, I think I found an issue in here, and you guys that have dealt with these as much as I have, you tell me what you think about this. But the cap, the coil sits right down in this cap here, and it does have a ground strap. I'm just taking it out for now. But it sits down in here and it bolts down, and it's got a little piece in here that that's it goes up against the bottom of that coil. That's how the coil fires into the uh, rotor button and does its work but I found some evidence on this of some uh, arcing here on the bottom of this coil that should not be happening if you look here kind of closely I wiped some of it off to see how heavy it was but you see on the right there and out here you see that thing has been arcing out the side there and uh, it's done enough, it's actually created a little carbon tracks on there. You see it look kind of like a little spider web pattern on that. So, I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm not sure if that's a, I, don't, I know it shouldn't be happening, that's clearer. It's got like a little, uh, <clears throat> uh, I probably misplaced that now too. But, uh, <laughs> I've actually cleaned this up too, can you believe that? Well, it's got a little rubber washer. I wanted to show you that one. Well, pooey. I guess I won't. Anyway, it's got this little rubber washer that sits in there. It's just like that. And that rubber washer had also had uh, some carbon tracks on it. And that doesn't make sense. I don't know where it's trying to arc to, but it look I can see on the side of this cap in there that it's not bad, but there is definitely, you see that little reflection right there, kind of weird looking place on that. You can see on both sides it has definitely been, uh, see right, right there is where it would be doing it. It's definitely been, as we say down here in the south, shooting far out right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't know if I need to go ahead and buy another coil. I don't want to buy another coil. This one looks new, and there was another one sitting in the floor in here, which is this one over here. And they both measure out. You can measure the ohm, ohm, ohms on them and see if they're okay. But they seem to be okay, but this one's not been doing that. No evidence on the bottom of this other mystery coil of that happening, so I may just for now go ahead and put it back together with a mystery coil. 
so I don't know these HEI distributors when they work good they work good when they decide to start screwing up like that it'll have you pull your hair out before you realize what's going on I've seen I've seen pictures of them where they've blasted the center of the distributor cap torched it out that coils failed and torched the hole in the bottom of the cap right down to the rotor and just different kinds of stuff I've had, and you know I was telling you about a it seems like Buick V6s that have the distributor up here seem like for whatever reason they are the most susceptible to to arcing inside the cap and so you ever have one of those not many people do anymore if you ever have any, those one of those or any car that you just can't chase a mist down and you know it's not, not it's not mechanical then you check that cap out because those things are they can be a booger sometimes so anyway I just want to show you what's going on with that and uh, I don't think I'll make this an episode of uh, the truck restoration, but uh, I'll just do this as a standalone video because I think the next episode hopefully will be this thing running because hopefully I'm about streets is calling, man. I love to hear your music in your car. It's better than music I pick myself. I uh, shouldn't be that far away. You know, I get frustrated because it's stuff like this that slows me down. You know, if it all just go together easily and no problems like that are found, but I've just, I've been out here like two or three hours and I'm just on and on and on with little problems with that distributor. So, anyway, that's just a little manual frustration. I'll deal with that. So, if it won't, won't, won't work right, I'll have to use my new catchphrase, which is I kick its ass. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.